Have you ever looked up at the night sky and wondered what's out there? Stargazing while RVing is one of the most magical experiences you can have on the road, but it can be tough to know where to start. That's why we put together some tips to help you make the most of your stargazing experience. Since more than one third of the world's population can't see the Milky Way from their home due to light pollution, the first step as an RVer is to find a place to camp by looking at a light pollution map. This map is color coded to easily see where the city lights begin to diminish. We tend to select locations that fall in at least the green zone, but the best guides for stargazing will be in the dark gray. Once you've familiarized yourself with a light pollution map and have selected a campground, you'll want to pick the best campsite for stargazing. This means avoiding campsites that are tucked within large trees that block the view of the sky. We like to use Google satellite maps to find campsites that are free from obstruction and from campground facilities that might have bright nighttime lights. The timing for a stargazing trip is as important as the location. Plan your stargazing trip around the lunar calendar. You can be under the darkest of skies, but none of that will matter if there's a full moon out. The best time to stargaze is during a new moon, which is when the sky is at its darkest. The timing around a new moon doesn't work out. Try and select days where the moon has an early set or a late rise, or if the moon is a crescent. To make your trip even more memorable, plan a trip during an active meteor shower. There are many meteor showers throughout the year, so try and camp as close to peak as possible. Our favorite is the Perseids, which peak in August during the summer camping season. For the best experience, we encourage you to minimize any lights around your campsite. This is especially important if you've selected a dark sky campground. Many astronomy enthusiasts target these areas, so be courteous and avoid lighting the night. Now that you've selected a time and a location, let's talk about what to bring. A light source is pretty important so you don't stumble in the dark. Your eyes will need a good 20 minutes to adjust once you've turned the lights off around you. So make sure to bring a headlamp, lantern, or a flashlight with red light capabilities. This will help keep your eyes adjusted to the darkness. To get the most out of your stargazing trip, a telescope or pair of binoculars can add a ton to your experience. There's nothing quite like seeing the celestial bodies up close, and you'd be surprised what can be shown through a pair of binoculars pointed towards the Milky Way. Our next recommendation is to download a stargazing app. There are many to choose from and will provide a map to the sky so you can see or predict what will be visible during your trip. It's always fun to learn about a cluster of stars or a bright planet that may have caught your attention. If you're camping during the warmer months, don't forget to bring mosquito repellent. The last thing you want to be worried about is being chased back inside the RV by these annoying pests. Also, since the temperature tends to drop at night, it's a good idea to bring a jacket if you plan to be out for a long time. And don't forget a chair or a blanket for a more relaxing time. Next time you RV, remember to sit out at night, look up at the stars, and take a tour through the night sky. It can be an amazing experience. We hope you and your family love it as much as we do.